flanking around the Alcora Bridge. 50 cows racing. Oh, one flips on over. Is he? Oh, no. Manages. Oh, Lance sticks the landing, actually. Infantry dismount. They're going into the compound. <laughs> this is the second one. Maybe actually missing the bridge and doing a complete kickflip over the river was the big brain move. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Find the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And in this one, we've got the Iraqi Golden Eagles up against the Insurgents. This is the Middle East Escalation mod, which lets us play as special forces units from various countries, adds a whole bunch of new vehicles and weapons, and on this one in particular, it's actually on a custom map called Fakhri, which is essentially a completely overhauled and reimagined Al Basra. The map looks amazing, the faction uniforms are great, and there are a few other gameplay tweaks that make ME a fan favorite, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. Oh, and if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, I've linked it in the description down below, but if you want to join our server and play with us, search for the Potato Fields Middle East Escalation. It's open to everyone, and you might even find yourself in an upcoming video. But that's it for me. Enjoy the show, and until next time, peace. All right, Eye in the Sky, Bakri, and this is like Al Basra, but not Al Basra, right? It's uh, the Middle East Escalation remake of Al Basra, and I've got to say, it's one of the better modded maps I, I think I've ever played on, I've ever seen. Visually, it's just really, really appealing. You don't have just a giant, uh, empty, flat desert <laughs> in front of you. You actually have microterrain. You got, you know, actual orchards and stuff around. Little towns cropped up and places that were previously in Al Basra. Just literally no man's land. Hello. Uh, yeah, okay. We might get be getting a little hitching here and there because there are a lot of assets. This is a really, really big mod. Um, but yeah should be an absolute blast of a game this is going to be uh the iraqi golden division uh that's our allied vehicles here don't have a lot uh, iraqi golden division is a special forces unit uh for the iraqi army i believe yeah iraqi golden division yep yeah, okay i know my i know my stuffs uh they just have a handful of literally not many vehicles uh for the attackers here we just have a couple lodges uh, a couple of the uh, actual 50 cals. Can we see them here? There we go. The 50 cal Humvees. I think they have the doors on them. Yeah, okay. They're, they're not the uh, no door variant. Um, so the 50 cal Humvees, as you also saw, uh, and Abrams, the M1A1 uh, variant though. So this is the same one uh, that like the Aussies or the Marine Corps have, uh, the BMP-1. And then they will get a helicopter, uh, the big hip, in about 10 minutes. And we can just hear a... AA shooting off in the distance. So they're going up against the Middle East insurgents. First have Orchard down to Alcora all the way over to Hilltop Outpost. Out, out, po, outpost? Words are hard. Outpost. Construction site down a Mosque. Governor's Mansion. And this will be an absolutely long, long invasion game if they can get to the first point. A handful of techies. They don't have a tank themselves. The insurgents just a BMP-1, MTLB, and their weapon. So should be... An absolute blast playing this uh, Middle East. Ooh, hello. Rocket barrage right in front of the deployment area. And that lodge is going to say, you know what? What if we don't go that way? What, <laughs> what if we go around? Probably the better option there. And yeah, we see actually, hold on a second. Both lodges are going east and a handful of Humvees. I think the we see the Abrams out here. Where's the BMP? BMP is right below us going off by themselves. And now we have AA truck trying to do some damage on the Humvees out here. But honestly, they might just get aggro from the Abrams. That's going to be an easy, easy kill. Abrams just needs to get a bit above the ridge here and off to their left. Should see that AA truck just misses. That should be the sign that you need to get out of there, little AA truck. He's not going to. <laughs> there it goes. AA truck, the first casualty of this invasion round. And well, they gave him a warning shot and he didn't take it. There you go. So first couple, hold on a second. Actually, let's take a look 
Now we have these Humvees. They are being extremely brave. Flanking around the Alcora Bridge. 50 cows racing. Oh, one flips on over. Is he? Oh, no. Manages. Oh, Lance sticks the landing, actually. Infantry dismount. They're going into the compound. <laughs> this is the second one. Maybe actually missing the bridge and doing a complete kickflip over the river was the big brain move. The Humvee on the west side safe. Uh, well, except from infantry, because he just gets shot out at 50. Yeah, 50 doesn't offer a full protection for infantry there. And we'll turn this on. You can see just how much they got. A, a decent infantry uh, dismount, but Holland pushing. Might get Soul Knight. Oh, misses all of his shots. No. <laughs> oh, God. Holland. With the absolute panic spray, I think that was the SVD, so Marksman Rifle not doing much. RPG misses everything. And this is a nice little push. Oh, if they actually hear that radio, that is a an insurgent radio. So Village Idiot, living up to his name right now, moving right past that radio. If they're able to get around and get back on it, that's going to be huge. But the main, main effort right now... Oh, wait, no! Okay, no, that is a uh, that is a, an insertion. I thought this was a, <laughs> I thought that was a uh, Iraqi radio for a second. Uh, just based on this, I'd be very surprised if that that did happen. But no, uh, that is an insurgent radio. Um, on the northern side, this is where the main effort push. We see a Humvee off to our left. RPGs being shot out as well, and that Lodgy out north of the uh, the objective. So just pushed up this nice little compound trying to set up a, a fire base uh and use this to leapfrog onto that first point we'll turn this on you can see the dome this is the first cap zone uh and the this is a point that if you are the attacker you you need to get this this is essentially a freebie you take orchard you get alcora and there's just a bang bang that's 200 tickets so you really need to go all in on this. I think most of the team, I'm not liking squad two with the big brain flank. Hey guys, we'll set up a fob in the city. So that way when you get here, we can attack. No, don't worry about that. We're already down 136 tickets. So that that is a lot to uh, already be almost 100 tickets from when you started. And you need every Iraqi infantry pushing uh, this orchard objective right now because look we only have what a hint like a, a squad maybe on orchard defending it they just need <laughs> they just they just need uh some uh vehicle cover some more infantry and they're gonna be good to go so uh really hope they don't get distracted trying to overthink this as a lot of players on invasion uh tend to do so let's take a look at our abrams out here we have an insurgent hat moving up to the position as well off to our left we'll turn on our outlines in just a second for you abrams some good supporting fire here bmp as well and here we go i mean the uniforms and everything in this it just looks so great I mean, the modders have done an absolute fantastic job with the just visual aspect of this. And let's take a look at it. I believe, yep, here we go. We got the just straight ahead of us here. We're, oh, he just, it was Yaga. Yaga just went down and his buddy, uh, I believe, is it Turkey Neck? No, Hutch. Uh, Hutch is the hat player and he is not feeling too good got tagged by that coax and so I did see an RPG slam into the Abrams it didn't do any uh, component damage no tracks uh, hit no really I mean that, that's gonna shrug it off a little RPG at the side nothing really happening there Abrams gonna fall back a bit maybe pop off his health and there you go MTLB Steflers Stiflers and Guts pushing right up the road and you got CW2 finger <laughs> uh, you got a bunch of infantry here is what we were trying to say and they are pushing across uh this kind of low ground field here 
as well this is a a nice little looks like half a squad from insurgents trying to push this objective as well but this is what can happen if you build a fob within a little town and there's you can see the uh the hab was actually just overrun for a second uh, iraqi players need to move out of the the safety of this little walled compound and get towards the objective right now they're trying to just fight within the the walls and that is allowing as you just saw i'm not quite sure why they brought a lodgy billy's left tit <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> why do you name yourselves these things um but this is it's now if you just fight inside this compound and started trying to push out you're going to uh just welcome a whole bunch of pressure is this mtlb now you can let's see what they see for a second and uh, this isn't the best of vehicles let's let's be honest really thin armor uh the pkt uh, machine gun up top it's not super strong but it's just enough to if you if you can get a nice little it's not full hold down you know let's not say it's you know completely protected but that berm is just enough uh to protect at least a little bit of the vehicle as i of course right as i say that rpg comes in the side but misses that track now as long as you can protect that track and be able to move out of there our second rpg misses as well and mtlb you got turkey neck with the rifle fire right in front of him a third rpg now that still misses the track the best MTLB survival rate I've seen in a long, long time. These things usually pop extremely quickly. And that is a fourth one. That should be your sign to get out of here, but he doesn't. Takes five RPGs. And you know what? I just, hey, that's like four more RPGs than I thought they were going to take. A hundred, uh, or sorry, 1,125 ammo. So at least got a couple hundred of ammo out for him uh in the meantime the western bnp looks like he was destroyed basement jaw uh, as a lone crewman out there and we can see the wreckage looks like hutch got a little bit more of his infantry support got some more ammo and then decided to uh make some quick work of these vehicles here uh let's take a look real quick as the defensive position or insurgents middle east insurgents this is just oh and here we go so squad two to start the game pushes out east to try to get a fob in the city and guess what nobody's gonna spawn there and middle east insurgents have now discovered it that pad will be dug down so not only have you pulled off a lot a lot of infantry to help your support you are now losing the tickets from your squad so at least nine tickets will go down and you're going to be losing that radio possibly the lodgy that you used to bring there so that's going to be a 30 to 40 ticket loss with absolutely zero gain uh, and it's invasion guys you, you can't make it any easier literally just push the first objective as we can see here this group of uh, iraqis they are so close to, to flipping it you are actually in the cap zone as we can see the dome just ends right behind village idiot oh blitz with the grenade tossing over to raffle copter oh if only he knew he's got an entire squad right next to him oh my goodness bipod in his rpk over the ridge it's a lot closer than they actually think mortars landing right behind him as well going for the revive i'm not sure that's the smartest decision right now smoke rockets everything coming in smoke landing all around the insurgents and you know what he says let me take this chance to push and unfortunately <laughs> ends up in the hornet's nest that is this squad holding the ground bobby barry pavo soldier they're pushing in echo wrecker off to the right gets taken out rhino ahead as well just shoot where the sound is i like that not in, in at wrong at all Rhino is going to push, trying to do the same thing. Shooting where the sound is. Tags uh, Gavin and New. Yeah, real close. And he's moving, shooting and scooting. As the Abrams, he is scooting. <laughs> he looked like he was scooting a little fast there. 
Rhino. Oh my goodness, two shifts proning through the night and he gets tagged off his left. This is a very important push right here. They are almost, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so insurgents are on the objective, which means the entire team needs to be on Orchard right now and they take it. Look at this, squad two still off on the Eastern side. Squad eight down below, my map is stuck to my cursor. Just push the objective and you win 86 tickets. This is going to be a lot closer than they really should be. Pavo soldier trying to push to the orchard as well. And we can see just you, you this small squad is really carrying their team right now. They're they're pushing. They're kind of holding. They're making sure everyone's healed back up. They're reviving their buddies and then continue to push. So, of course, right when I see that, three of them die. <laughs> yes, they just literally cool. completely miss everything around them and shift W onto the, onto the building. Come on, guys. I literally just complimented you and you get squad wiped by one person up on the building. Looks like Abel 1707 and it's only two inches. <laughs> Clearing it up and Twombly hiding in the bodies of his buddy. Oh, he pulls out the pistol. <laughs> oh man, the disrespect. Takes the time, swaps to his pistol and curse of the commentator here, guys. Sorry about that, 45 tickets. And, well, what could have been if only you could play the objective. Uh, the entire team, well, it's not over till it's over. Entire team is now forcing to spawn on this objective because the hab out east has been dug down. Squad 2 losing that kind of out of middle of nowhere fob. Is that an IED? Oh, it is. Unfortunately for the insurgents, doesn't get anything with it. Looks like that bike might have been killed just a little too uh, too far from the the walls of the compound. But this is the push. It needs to happen. And do we have a command squad? We do have a command squad. Rump Shaker, unfortunately for him, he is in a solo Lodgy doing Lodgy runs. Uh, you know what? If it needs to happen, it needs to happen. But Commander right now... That we are uh, how far into this game 20 minutes in you need your uav you need your airstrike you need artillery you need something because one command asset will completely change this game oh what an rpg or might have been a grenade launcher knocks out three or four infantry right in the middle of the field huge plays by the defenders right now And I mean, just look at how well that camo does. I mean, it looked like there was really nobody nearby in the moment we turn on these outlines and names. There you go. So much infantry now pushing the objective. It's 78 kills to 88. It's not even, it's not even that bad of a, of a death rate. They're just not playing the objective and a lot of their vehicles just have been killed off the point. So you need to make it happen here. A good amount of insurgents have responded and they're now on the objective as well. So the time where they, the, uh, the Iraqis could just push and overwhelm with numbers in this field, because that's where the cap zone kind of just, just tag a bunch of them is probably gone because now insurgents have completely refortified this objective and you're going to need artillery or an airstrike to really really get them out of here bobby schmerda pushing up and it looks like you got three or four of them with that kind of yolo rush into the into the smoke here and more smoke popping right in front of us actually this is an absolute grind unbelievable amount of infantry combat right here And just look at how many people are prone. 
26 tickets. This has got to be close to me being capped. Airstrike going right over the middle now. Iraqi infantry just kept outside the walls. This command asset is going to be huge if they get this airstrike right on the objective. Infantry should be able to push right in. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. It wasn't the rocket barrage. It was a couple of JDAMs. And <laughs> that actually killed his entire... <laughs> Oh my god! The friendly fire! It killed, I think, the entire attacking team! Uh, we are fucked up. We are going back to Maine. <laughs> Not a single friendly infantry alive on the objective. Every <laughs> single insurgent kept nice and safe and sound behind the walls and inside the buildings here. Oh my god. This is the bad ending. <laughs> Oh God, all the team kills, you, you hate to see it. And that's gonna be it, 10 tickets. And... <laughs> oh goodness. Well, they wanted the command strike and they got it. Maybe just a little too <laughs> close for comfort. And uh, mortars, hey, you know what? It's, there you go, Mor speaking of mortars, mortar barrage out on the backside here and there you go that's gonna be about all she wrote though eight tickets remaining and just the insurgents i mean we can see look at that stream of blue just trying to push through that little field it's not that bad of an attack bob but just you know you needed this like 10 minutes ago oh my goodness <laughs> the ad down the road looks like it got at least a handful of infantry there and this is just, I mean, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, at least an entire squad in the compound here defending down to six tickets, four tickets. And yeah, that's going to be it. Here we go. Robert, Billy. <laughs> hey, I mean, uh, who to expect? That, that would actually land that close. So, I mean, good effort, I guess. But 693 tickets to zero. Rocky Golden Eagles not able to do it. Uh, 99 kills for uh, Rocky Golden Eagles. 117 for Insurgents. 14 revives on the Insurgents. Uh, to only 65 on Rocky. GG's. Needed a little bit more teamwork on the end, but hey, uh, GG's.